Welcome to your first Meld How To. Today I'm going to show you how to install a new graphics card. Of course, more for practice since you probably can't afford a GPU because they're so expensive right now. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. So here's how you switch out your GPU. Take out your old card and insert the new one. And that's it. I'm kidding. There's a little more to it than that. First, before you even purchase a new graphics card, make sure your system supports it. Most every motherboard for over a decade will be fine, since no modern card even utilizes the full bandwidth of PCI Express 2.0, much less all of 3.0. One thing you do need to think about, though, is your power draw. While graphics cards have gotten insanely efficient compared to cards even just a few years ago, higher tier cards can still draw a decent amount. That, and if you plan to do much overclocking, you'll need a well enough rated PSU. Try to look up power draw under full load for whatever GPU you're looking to buy, as well as the other parts in your system. Next, you'll want to check your case's clearance. Some cards can be quite large, and depending on the size of your case, it may not fit. If you have doubts, check out the dimensions of the card and measure your case to make extra sure. For the second step, delete your old graphics drivers. While some people say to use the clean install option with your new card, even Nvidia suggests to delete your old drivers first. After that, go ahead and shut down your PC and at least unplug your power supply to ensure nothing happens while you're in there. Then unscrew the card, unplug the power connectors, and lastly, release the latch at the end of the PCI Express slot before pulling the graphics card out. Don't forget this step, because it is possible to break the slot if you forget and start tugging. Now take your new card and do everything backwards, well except for messing with the latch on the PCI Express slot. Just firmly insert the card and you're good to go. Then screw everything in, plug up your power connectors, then plug back up your power and lastly your video out. And now comes the moment of truth. Did you do everything right? Hit the power button to find out. At this point it should boot up, once it does and you're in Windows, go ahead and install the latest drivers from either AMD or Nvidia depending on your card and you're good to go. Enjoy your new GPU, if you could afford one or it's in the future and GPU prices aren't 4 times what they used to be. So while that does it for today, I wanted to thank Algorithm44 on the GamerMail Discord server for sending me this card. It really was an amazing surprise. Going from a GTX 660 to what's essentially a 290X since Crossfire has gone to the wayside and my power supply can't exactly handle two 290Xs. The difference is amazing, so definitely thank you for that. And if you have any other hardware questions, make sure to check out the GamerMail Discord server. There's a ton of great hardware enthusiasts like Algorithm44 who love to talk gaming hardware. You'll find the link to that in the description below. And as always, have a great day.